Well, I, I think our, our people are a lot further down the track in regards to the solar issue than we were 22 years ago, um, because our people have seen the impact um, of the taking of our or um, the abuse of other tongue and so on. So there's a much greater awareness, which means that a number of the recommendations will be quite easy for our people to pressure the government, if you like, to actually take some action. Um, so there are a lot of recommendations um, and it will take time to, to implement them. I'm, I'm not necessarily confident that the Crown will accept a lot of recommendations because um, the, the track record in a recent analysis we did of tribunal reports is the government's actually acted on less than 3% of all the recommendations the tribunal has made. I don't expect that to suddenly improve this claim. Um, but our people will do what we've always done. We will keep plugging away. We will use what recommendations will be of value to us to put pressure on the Crown and so on. Um, but that will, will, will take time. I hope with some of the recommendations it doesn't take as long as it's taken to get the report. Um, but we, we need to realise that they're not going to happen straight away, but, but a start can be made in a number of areas, I think. Provided, in my view, we keep in mind some of those basic bottom lines that the original claimants had, that, that nobody has the right to patent or claim ownership of something that is ours. Um, that if we are kaitiaki, then that is because we have a tiritanga in relation to these things. And so some of the basic flaws in, in, in the report um, will need to be borne in mind by our people as well, and, and I'm sure our people will do that. What are your thoughts about the international role that's sort of defined in the, in the last parts of the report? Well, one of, one of the other disappointments for me is that some of the approaches taken by the tribunal are actually less advanced than issues that are being taken up by other indigenous people. Anybody else on the bus in here? No? <laughs> <That's all. laughs> um, and in fact there are a number of initiatives being taken by international indigenous bodies and by groups of tangata whenua, um, which, which I, I think the tribunal could have learned valuable lessons from and the, the fact that they haven't I think is unfortunate. Um, so where 20 odd years ago we were at the forefront of this issue, um, in some ways other indigenous peoples and other countries are now ahead of us, and so I think we can continue to learn um, from other indigenous peoples. So your final sort of analysis of this report and, and how, how would you rate it in terms of a... Um, well, I, I have two responses really. The first is that the final delivery of the report is some honouring of those original claimants. It is some acknowledgement that the foresight they showed, the bravery they showed really, um, was worthy and well worth the effort of, of, of pursuing. So the fact that we have a report is an honouring of them, I think, and, and that to me is really important. And so in, in that regard, I'm just pleased that there is a report. I think we have to be realistic about the flaws and shortcomings of it. But let us this weekend just honour those who took that first brave step.